Hello everybody, we are back here with the beginning of another seven day grind video and today we are going to be starting the roe deer grind. You guys voted roe deer over a lot of other species this time by quite a large margin. I think the roe deer had like 50 or 60% of the votes which is kind of insane. We have a lot of roe deer to choose from so I think it's about time that we start taking some shots on them. Now, uh, I'm going to just use the 308 for all of them, except for diamonds, of course, because uh, we're just trying to get them down quickly, as always. And if it's not a diamond, no need to uh, shoot it with the proper caliber, because not going to have a chance at making diamond anyway. Now, it has been a long time since I have hunted the roe deer here on Quattro Colinas, so we're going to be doing a lot of searching to try and figure out what it is. Uh, we need to really get going in terms of locations that we should put our tents, the uh, different areas we should be putting our stands and things like that. And also, whether or not it's going to be worth it to manage down a part of the map. I'm obviously not going to do full-on herd management with this grind. It's not really worth doing it for the fact that we're only going to be hunting them for a week. If anything, I'll probably just leave the low-level solos I find and then shoot everything else on site. And I suppose that I also should mention that it is currently 5.13 p.m. on November 19th of 2023. That is when we are starting this grind up. Hopefully, we can manage to get something crazy over the course of these next seven days. Also, apologies if there is a little bit of like a different sound to the game audio. I unfortunately had some issues with some of my drivers resetting all of my settings that I had on my PC. So it... I tried to get it back to where it was, but I feel like it still sounds a little bit different than it used to. There might be a little bit less bass, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know if it sounds normal to you guys or if uh, I need to tweak it a little bit more. It seems good enough to me. That is going to be two more kills right there. My gosh, there's so many roe deer over there. That is a crazy little zone of roe deer. You know, this lake is kind of loaded for them. If you guys are interested, it's over here, like, middle on the left side. And man, there's a lot of males here so far. And as you guys uh, could imagine, we're not going to show every single kill that we get on this grind because that would just be a lot of kills to put into a video. We're probably going to end up killing at least a few hundred roe deer throughout the next uh, week, and that would make for a ridiculously long video. But of course, any uh, trophy roe deer that we end up getting, any uh, types of rares, diamonds, anything like that will go in the video and uh, any type of like weird and funny moments probably as well. Hey, there we go. There is our first trophy roe deer of the grind. That is a piebald right there. And I don't have my gun on me at the moment. I've been kind of moving some tents around. I was actually about to move everything from the zone right here. And then boom, we've got ourselves our first trophy roe deer of the grind. So let's get our gun, let's get down into the blind, and let's get ready to take this thing down. So since the intro of this video, I have done a little bit of tweaking to the audio, and I've got it to pretty much the old levels that I had it at, and I'm a lot more happy with it. You know, that's actually a pretty big two right there as well, so we potentially have two really nice roe deer here. I mean, this piebald is for sure nice, but that uh, two also might be a good one. Let's get lined up on this thing real quickly, and that is going to be a shot into it, and one into that guy as well, and they're both going down. What a fantastic first trophy to find. So let's go ahead and grab this piebald one first, since we already know that this is a crazy trophy. I don't want to accidentally lose it by the game crashing or anything like that, so let's pick up this guy first. That's actually a solid one, 68.46 is a decent bit into gold, and that is a fantastic first rare roe deer on the grind. You know, I'm glad that you guys voted for roe deer because otherwise we would not have even known this thing was here. Now the question is, can we manage to get an even more insane trophy throughout this grind? I really hope to get a melanistic because I've never killed a melanistic roe deer, and that would just be incredible if we could manage to find one really of any size. Now, let's see what this guy is going to be. I'm really hoping that this right here is going to be a diamond. I don't think it is, but... And 74. Yeah, he didn't quite make it, but that is by far our biggest road here of the grind as of now. And also, while I'm 
Remembering it, since I forgot to say it with the piebald, it's currently 5.49 p.m. on November 19th of 2023, when we just took both of these road here down. We're currently 17 kills into the grind. We're still kind of in the process of checking all of the zones and moving tents around, and that guy was definitely an initial spawn since we have not touched Quattro Colinas for road here in probably a couple of years. It's been a while. Hey, it's not a road deer, but that is a level five Ronda Ibex or Ronda. Ronda, I can't remember if it's Ronda or Ronda, but either way, that is something that we need to get down right now. How far away is that? 257 meters, and I forgot that I'm in Discord right now, so you guys probably just heard a couple of beeps from Brobra and Caitlin joining the chat as we're uh, getting ready to do a uh, stream with Brobra. Let's go ahead and take a shot on this if we can. And it's dead. I don't know why it lagged when I shot, but yeah, we got it. You know, normally when I'm in Discord, I have a uh, streamer mode enabled, so that type of stuff will not happen. However, I turned it off because I wanted to hear when Brobra joined into the call, and I, I wasn't expecting him to join literally right as we were... Uh, taking down a level 5 Ibex, but I mean, it is what it is. Not too much I can do about it. Let's go ahead and uh, tax this guy because that actually is a diamond and it's a really wonky one as well. I can't think of the last time that I've killed a diamond Ibex and I don't think I've ever killed one quite this wonky and weird. This is really a cool trophy. What an awesome thing to find when we're going for something completely different. This is starting off phenomenally. I am super excited to see how this grind continues on because it's starting off with a bang. 89 kills on the road here grind. Holy. Holy, holy. Oh, oh, level three road here. What? Oh my gosh. That's a level three road here. Let's go. That's the first level three road here on the grind. Let's go. It's nervous too. So I spooked it off at, at one point. Oh my gosh. Hello, little Jeez. buddy. <laughs> you love to see it, man. That's crazy. Come here, little buddy. Well, for the video, this is going to go in. This is uh, November 21st of 2023 at 2.53 p.m. We are 89 kills into the road deer grind, and this is the very first level three to show up. It's kind of a squished guy as well. I'm also, uh, I'm also currently in a voice chat with uh, Nate, so check out his channel, Big Rig, if you haven't. Yeah. He does a lot of angler content, some hunter content, some other stuff here and there. All the above. All of the above, and the road is going down. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. And you know what's even better? We got it with the brand new Thanksgiving skins. I got the, the brand new copper metal and the brand new reclaimed wood skin on there. Holy crap, they look good. Let's see, will this guy end up being a diamond? I think his minimum estimate was like 79, which is three, like two below diamond. So it's got a pretty good chance of making it. Dude, that is a, those are big, big antlers. Oh, it's massive. 85.36 diamond roe deer. It is 0.17 off max weight. Let's go. <laughs> And that's a non-herd management diamond road deer as well, because I've been shooting every single road deer I see, male or female. That's crazy. That is a massive road deer diamond to get as the first diamond of this grind. 85.36 is almost four points above diamond. He thick. That is the thickest diamond road deer I've seen in a while. A few hours later. Hello, everybody. We are going to end this uh, little video one day earlier than I originally intended. This is going to be more of a six-day grind than a seven-day grind because Expansive Worlds gave some of us content creators early access to the brand new dog update, as you can uh, tell by the, the dog that's running around here, the Labrador Retriever. So 
I've been spending the last couple days messing around with the dogs trying to figure out what they're good for, how useful they're going to be and stuff like that, so I haven't had as much time to roe deer hunt. I haven't hunted roe deer in about two days now, so I figured let's go ahead and do a few rotations throughout all of our lakes and uh, try to get a few more trophies to end this video off. As we take this shot, it is 3.04 p.m. on November 25th of 2023. So there's our first little uh, roe deer of the day, 67.59. Would have been a gold if we were using the uh, proper gun to take it down, but we're just using the 308 to get them down as quick as possible, provided they're not a diamond or a rare. Which at this point in the video, you guys will have seen a couple of rares and a diamond. It has been pretty good, actually. I've been very, very happy with uh, how many trophy roe deer we've been able to find in a somewhat short grind. We've killed 137 roe deer in total, and we managed to get a diamond and two rares, so that's not bad at all. Given I'm pretty sure both of the rares were initial spawns, the diamond was a respawn, so we have managed to get pretty lucky so far, and hopefully we can continue that luck up today. Let's uh, take a shot at this guy if we can, and then also try to get these uh, female roe deer. Oh my gosh, we absolutely folded them. Holy crap, that's crazy. And that's going to be a headshot on that one. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a kill shot, but it was a headshot. Let's pick up that guy right... Whoa! What the... What a strange looking roe deer. I don't think I've ever seen a roe deer look quite like that. That's, uh... That's kind of crazy, man. That is kind of crazy, actually. Also, in case I forget to mention it in the beginning of this video, because I don't remember what I said in the intro, I am shooting the female roe deer as well, because I figured out that shooting the females helps the males respawn a little bit more reliably for roe deer. Because of the fact that a lot of roe deer are either solo or they're in groups of two, leaving the females was causing the males to be really inconsistent with their respawns and very, very slow. So I will not be counting the females towards the uh, total kill count. I'm only counting the males, but we are shooting all the females that we get a chance to. So figured I would mention that for anybody that was curious about it. And uh, we got a lot of male roe deer in this area. There's actually quite a few of them. That is crazy how many there is. So with that being said, we're currently 143 kills into this grind in terms of the male uh, roe deer. And yeah, out of 143, one diamond and two rares is pretty solid. I'm really hoping that we can get a another rare by the end of this. That would be my goal is to get a melanistic one, so hopefully we can make that happen. Oh, hey, there we go. We got another level three road here. He's traveling still. I don't know where he's going. It looks like he's heading over there. So this is this little lake right here. This has always been a really good one ever since we started this grind. We've just got road here all over this area. And there's usually so many that I keep deleting the zones and then rediscovering them. But with the road deer, since they're in solos and duos, it does not really matter that much. What does matter is getting a good shot on this guy, though. So we're going to be really careful and make sure that we don't screw this up. Um, I am going to shoot these close ones first, I think. So let's go ahead and dump a few shots into them if we can. And that's a bunch of dead road deer right there. And in fact... There's an, another what? No, we missed him. We missed him. That's unfortunate we missed that guy, but it is what it is. We got more important things to worry about right now. However, I can't pass up the opportunity to smoke everything else in sight. And in fact, we can get that guy as well. And another female going down. It's just endless death and destruction for all road here and that poor pheasant as well because hey if he's there we might as well get the respawn and there's even more right where we came from let's go ahead and do that guy and the female as well it's just an endless road deer destruction kind of day this is why this is my favorite lake this lake is always completely loaded no matter how many times i demolish all the zones they always come back and there's always tons of road deer here and a beaver took down our tent. I'm going to assume I shot a roe deer on top of it. I think that's about the only thing that could have took it down. Here we go again. Every time I'm over here, there's at least one of them that decides to come over and play. That 
that's going to be the end of him. We got ourselves an Iberian wolf. Okay, buddy. He's not going to hurt you anymore. And since I'm sure there'll be a couple people wondering, and I'm obviously taking into account that not everybody hears it the first time I say something in a video, and also sometimes just uh, didn't realize what I was saying, but I am currently on the early access for the Labrador Retriever that the content creators uh, for EW ended up getting, and... Uh, we do get to keep the progress from this, so we decided to hop back on and finish up our seven-day roe deer video. So we will get to keep the progression from this, but that's why you see this little pupper right here. We're currently on the early access build because uh, it's going on for a few more days before the full release will hit. So I think this is the tracks from our big male 29 to 35. We're going to follow them and try to figure out where this guy went. I don't know if he kept following the water or if he went up high. Hard to say. We're going to have to track him down and see. There we go. That should be him, but unfortunately, the wind is not in our favor. So I don't know how this is going to go. I think we're going to spook it off. Yeah, it's very likely going to spook off again. Ah, here goes nothing, though. We're going to try it. I'm going to move as far to the right as I can. Oh. I think it's right next to us. It is. It's right there. Holy crap, we got him. Wow, that thing looks way larger than the other diamond that we got. That looks really nice. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a giant. That is a giant diamond rodeo right there. That is probably the high... Actually, no. Wow, it scores less, but it looks crazy. That is wild. I gotta say, I like this one more. It scores lower, but I like this way more than the other diamond that we got. This guy actually looks pretty crazy. What an insane roe deer. Like, an absolutely ridiculous looking roe deer. That's pretty cool. That's uh, gotta be the highlight of the grind for me. So we ended up getting this guy right here at 3.25 p.m. on November 25th of 2023. That is our second diamond of the grind and kill number 148. Actually, maybe it's not 148. I think I forgot to count all the other ones that we just killed. It might be 150, 151. It's somewhere around that range, though. You know what? I actually really like how this looks. There's our second Rodier Diamond, and there is our first Rodier Diamond. I see why this guy scores higher. He does have longer tines on his uh, antlers. This guy's are shorter, but they're really cool looking. He's a really wonky, weird looking one. But I think it looks pretty good up here. These two Rodier fit nicely on this wall in particular. Now, as for the rares, I don't know where we're going to put them. Overall, this was a very successful week of hunting them, even though we cut it a day short and ended up uh, missing one of the days in the middle due to the Retriever DLC early access. It still turned out really good. Two pie balls and two diamonds. Definitely happy with it. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this seven-day trophy grinding video. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click that like button because it is completely free and it helps out the channel a ton. And uh, leave a comment if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.